everybody, SinusQ111 here, and welcome back to more Civilization VI New Frontier Pass. And it's been a while since I've played this, and I've actually been enjoying this game during the times I have played it. But, unfortunately, I don't know about what you think about it, but I think the Civilization VI Anthology line might have come to an end recently. And at the time of me recording this... Hold on. Yeah, Portugal is the latest civilization to come to this game. So this is what I am going to be playing as. A uh, large map. Okay, here's all these stats right here that I will get into later. Okay. I've even seen that there is a huge Earth map, so I'm going to be playing on that as well. Number of city-states, 18. I'm going to keep that. And... Uh, what the heck, since this may be my last game of Civilization VI for probably forever, why not have all the modes enabled? I think this should be good, and we are ready to go. And I will see you at the loading screen for the game here in a minute. I just hope this game didn't freeze on me. I doubt it did, though. Yeah, yeah, it usually does this whenever I play on the huge Earth map. Well. I'll see you in a minute, everyone. From the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest, from this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Jalal III, you stand firm in your beliefs and guide others to them. As you spread your religion and trade networks beyond your shores, bring prosperity back to your people so that they may experience new ways of being unlike any seen before. Okay, and with that, I shall now read off the features and abilities that the Portuguese Empire and Joao III have. Joao III's leader ability is called Porta do Cerso. All units receive plus one sight, plus one trade route capacity when a civilization is met. Open borders with all city-states. That's nice. I do love me some trade routes in the games I've played, after all. The Civilization ability for Portugal is Casa da India. International trade routes must originate from a coastal city and can only reach cities on the coast with a harbor, but receive plus 50 towards all yields. Trader units have plus 50 range over water and can embark as soon as they are unlocked. Cool. The unique naval unit is the NAO. The unique building is the navigation school. Oh, I just heard a glitch. The unique navigate the unique building is the navigation school, and the unique improvement is the Fatoria. This is gonna be a game worth playing, isn't it? Um I do have uh Um, I don't know if I'm on the right page for this, but I'm trying to look for a page for that can tell whether the Civilization VI Anthology is complete and what kinds of DLC is in it. Of course, I think I know most of it. And with... Guess the game is beginning now. And from the looks of things, we're starting out somewhere up north. Where is it? That's... Now, I can't really tell if I'm going to be starting on the Americas or in Europe, like the real Portugal did. 
let's just call it a toss-up. Um, let's go ahead and settle our first city on the woods. Can't we gain the Eureka of sailing? Gosh, this is lagging so much. What is... I don't remember this game lagging so much. What's happening? I don't know. Yeah, I think this could be my last playthrough of Civilization VI for at least a good long while. Yeah, let's go ahead and build a monument. And wait. Perhaps I can spend this time to browse some articles involving Civilization VI. Anthology. Uh, here's one. Civilization VI Anthology Review. All the Civ VI you'll ever need, ever. Oh, uh, there's two other games that I... that I don't know if I want to try anytime soon, given the mechanics being different from Civilization VI. But if you want to play them, you do you. Oh, we've discovered a barbarian camp already. Storm Cloud. They're gonna be lightning quick to the draw. I've gotta be lightninger quicker. Not very good wording. Owls of Minerva discovered. A conversation with a new acquaintance turns into symbols. An eye in a pyramid, a two-headed owl, a serpent biting its own tail. These are the signs by which we know each other, he says to you. Later, he invites you down through the tunnels below the city to a velvet-draped room filled with figures in cloaks and animal masks. And who you think you recognize as some of the richest and most important people in your empire and beyond. Join us, offers a woman in an elaborate moth mask, her voice dripping with wealth and privilege. I still want to have all four... Ooh. Barbarians. Zombie. Yeah, given that I have the zombie game mode enabled, this could prove to be problematic. I want to have my... I want to have a money assigned to a city-state so I can have plus two envoys there. This is new music that I believe is exclusive only to Portugal when you play as it, or otherwise. Or if it's in the game, I should say. Um, from the review I'm reading on my tablet, yeah, I think I think whoever wrote this might have been impressed with the with how much content is in the anthology. It started with the dream of the sea. The waves surged towards the shore, but refused to break upon the sand, the water's surface having been turned to something more like skin. A vast dark shape moved underneath, its form constantly growing new limbs and reabsorbing old ones. In the wind, there was a song that whispered to you its name, a set of syllables not designed for human tongues. The next day in the market, you overhear a young urchin with a hollow stare mutter something in this same language. Like I said, I will decide which which secret society to join later. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think you only caught a glimpse of it, but I believe the zombies have a brand new, unique, unique model than the barbarians. I'm Sultan Musa, Sayyid Mali, and I'm a very good 
تشرفت بلقائكم. We're already meeting Mansa Musa of the Mali Empire. It's an honor to meet you of all ways. Sure. I believe there's a lot I can learn from going to Mali. Its capital. Okay, it's right over here. Iani. Okay, that's something to remember. I... I wonder how I'm going to be able to expand into all this I land the clay must feel happy in. and beyond in the coming turns. Okay, yeah, I think I'm getting to the part where it says where it says what kinds of DLC is available from the Civilization VI anthology. We've become the first Suzerians of Mitla. Nice. We're discovering a rather big amount of heroes for such a short time. Okay, so the anthology, the Civilization VI anthology, complete anthology, includes the base game, which I'll and it also has the Nubia Civilization and Scenario Pack. Oh, I think we met, uh... Okay, it's only two more city-states. It includes the Kumar and Indonesia Civilization and Scenario Pack, the Maya and Grand Colombia Pack, Ethiopia, Byzantium and Gaul Packs, the Babylon Pack, the Vietnam Pack, the Portugal Pack, the Teddy Roosevelt and Catherine de' Medici Persona Packs. Well, it includes every single DLC that you can buy for Civilization VI. That's something to impress, to be impressed by. It's so rich in content. One can easily be impressed by its extensive... One can easily be impressed by Fire Axis's... Or 4K's... Extensive work into this game. Yeah. After five years... The entire Civilization VI anthology is complete. It is not wisdom, but authority. Yeah, it was first released back in 2006. And here we are now, five years into the future. With a whole boatload of new civilizations and city-states and game modes added. Who deserves more credit than the white? Oh, we discovered a new continent. Oh yeah, so it looks like we are in Europe. Okay, so this would be Europe, this would be Asia, this would be Africa. Well, at least we started on the right continent. But we are in the wrong place on the continent. I guess I'd... I guess it would be best to put my tablet away for now and focus more on playing the game. It's... I kind of have a hard time telling whether the music that's playing is whether you're from Portugal or from Mali. Either way, I don't know if I've heard of it before or not. It's new to me. 
ماذا فعلتم ليأخذ الله منكم تلك المكافأة؟ عودوا إلى طريق الصواب. Uh, okay, so it looks like we're transgressing Mansa Musa's main agenda. Where we need to have a good uh, amount of income coming from our trade routes. That's something I can't really help with at the moment. Oh no. Oh, I should... I should most certainly head back up there before things get worse. Either that or just use... Okay, when the gong gets rough, then I think I may need to save up my gold to buy a warrior. Which, if I've learned from experience, I don't believe is good enough to hoard off these zombies. Okay, well at least they're losing more hit points. At least they're losing hit points more than my city is. Okay, I've got to get a warrior. I need to build up an army in case any civilizations try to destroy me. Or want to destroy me at least. No every nation. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna do bronze working. I need to reveal those iron resources as quickly as I can if I want to... I want to have my troops be more advanced than the other civilizations. Oh, we just met another civilization. Dido, Hamalkot uha um le kart hadash, Makademe shum le kom, bishum kin bane kanaan. We've met Dido of Carthage, greeting me on the on behalf of the Phoenicians. Hmm. Hospitality, she accepted. That's gonna be good. Something I also want to do is get some settlers in, in my empire as quickly as I can, because when the other empires come into this land with their settlers, it's gonna be it's gonna be hell once they actually start settling on these lands. Okay, my warrior's almost complete. I completely forgot you can choose Pathions. I wasn't really focusing or paying attention to that. Hmm. Which do I want? Well, I can't choose the religious settlements one because that one's already taken. Oh, we've got a forest fire up here. That's not good. I'm going to choose...
god of craftsmen. All I need to do is get a holy side up, get a great prophet, and I'll have me a religion. Ah, uh, they destroyed the Stormcloud clan. I, I... I believe I could have used them for something, at least. I don't know. Oh, I'm very concerned about that forest fire, because I believe it's going to... spread down here... Oh yeah, it's it's coming down. What do I do? I don't know. I don't believe there is a way you can actually stop it. Guess I'll have to live through it. Okay. I got a tribal village at least. Well, I think it just gave me a governor title, but still. Wouldn't hurt to see what it had to offer. I like to say I practice military. Okay, it hasn't spread to this part of the woods yet. But that but it could still happen. Still want to keep being prepared for that. Okay, I'm still not seeing any major civilizations up here. I can't really tell if I'm starting in either Russia's or Sweden's spot. I definitely know somewhere over here might be Norway's spot. I'm also interested. What do I want to research next? I'll go ahead and work my way towards writing. I need some science in here. There's a barbarian scout. And here's the border between Europe and Asia, it looks like. It looks like the majority of this forest has recovered. And oh my gosh, a blizzard is on its way here. <sighs> Ansa's offering me some gifts. Indigo cloth. Kikeliba tea and 100 porters carrying sacks of gold dust. <sighs> well, who wouldn't want a little gold, even if it's in dust form? Money, baby. It's 
still has value, you know. Okay. Okay, it's even giving me a place to... a recommended place for settling my city in. That's nice. Good on you, game. Okay, once I settle my city, I believe that will be it for this episode of Civilization VI Anthology, New Frontier Pass as Portugal. Um, what I want to do next, if there's an opening up here, I want to explore this part of Northern Asia. I want to explore as much of it as I can before I need to direct my attention more towards the my civilization. And also, I just now got a monument up. But as for right now, Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!